We're going to take a look at the last three generations of tailor-made drivers, specifically the low spin models, the M5, the Sim, and the Sim 2, comparing with TrackMan and see the differences. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. We're in the tour van with three driver models from TaylorMade, uh, going back a few generations here to the M family and then the Sim and Sim 2 families, comparing the low spin heads. So I've got the M5 and the Sim here, and Thomas has the Sim 2. So I'm going to break down three years of driver technology from TaylorMade here. Thomas is going to hit some shots, and we're going to get all the information from TrackMan here. So Thomas, I know you're familiar with these drivers. Quickly, um, what do you think we're going to see here? Yeah, these drivers, they are really good look down at. Mm -hmm. I've, I've raved about how good they look. This is the TaylorMade low spinning family. So mm -hmm. for the last three generations, I'm going to expect some low spinning numbers, but I'm really going to be interested to see if there's any differences in the last three generations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll get your opinion on the look and feel as well, and then um, you know we'll come to any conclusions that we get from TrackMan here. But and of course, all these drivers are available at SecondSwing.com to either get fit for or to shop in our massive selection. So, Thomas, uh, quickly, the shaft we're going to use for all three. Uh, you got it in your hand. What is it? Yeah, I've got the Hazardous RDX Smoke 6.0 70 gram. So this comes stock with the Sim 2. Okay. It's a great golf shaft, and we're going to be testing all nine degree heads. All right, you ready to hit? Let's do it. All right, Thomas, you've got the Sim and the M5 in hand. Um, what did you think about those first three shots with the M5? Yeah, M5, uh, pretty good. I mean, the spin rate was around mm -hmm. about 2,200 every mm -hmm. single time. Really, really impressive. It's, it's a low spinner. It goes nice and far mm -hmm. and pretty forgiving. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And I, I, mean, I wanted to ask about the looks because they did, they did a little bit with the color scheme there. But um, do you see any major differences or feel any major differences? I mean, TaylorMade always does a lot with the color scheme. It seems yeah. like every single generation they change different kind of finish, essentially. So darker finish on the top with some red coloring when they switch to the Sim, which is a little lighter on, on the crown with some blue and kind of white mm -hmm. gray going on. So it's definitely different with regards to coloring. I noticed that the M5 just looks like it's a little bit maybe like more of a larger profile. I know they're both the same size with regards to CCs. But it just looks like the sim just seems a little bit more compact from the front to the back of the club. Hmm, interesting. Okay. All right. Well, uh, let's get to the shots then here of the sim driver. Sounds good. <laughs> well, Thomas, my takeaway there is the distance consistency is pretty good, um, despite maybe the face angle being a little bit of a variance there for you. That's but on me. That, that, <laughs> but I, hey, yep. pr kudos to Sim though for the yep. carry distance staying consistent for those three shots despite a, maybe a difference in the swing there. Yeah, that's showing that, that spin consistency. Even though if the face pretty far open on those two that went to the right, spin only kind of went up by a couple hundred RPMs. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the one was a little bit left. Now, those are maybe not my best three swings that I put together. But the nice thing is they still went the same distance. Yeah, yeah which is something you don't see very often nowadays. All right, so now we can get to the Sim 2 here, the newest one for 2021. Thomas, you smoked three shots in a row there with the Sim 2. Uh, that, was, that was pretty impressive to watch right there. Yeah, there's something about this driver. I've done some other testing with this driver, and it is being hot. I've been hitting some bombs with the Sim 2. Mm -hmm. You swung that one a little bit faster, but I think the takeaway is the spin is staying down letting you kind of carry it out there. So um, did you see a difference, feel a difference in how the club looks or feels? Compared yeah, to maybe, I guess, compared both to Sim and M5. Yeah, it does seem a little bit more compact from heel to toe. So, and then maybe a little more you know, from, from the bottom to the top of the club, a little bit larger profile there. Okay. But it's, you know, definitely clearly spinning less. Mm -hmm. now, oh, that yeah. last one that I hit was right around about 2000. And that was, that was about good as it gets. And I think that's the furthest drive that I've hit. Oh yeah, because well, all carry three distance. Them, yeah, all three of them are the farthest ones. You know, yeah. if you bring up the information here with each one, and I mean, you got 328 in total, you got 331 total, you got 330 total, and they're all carrying over 300. So, pretty good for Sim 2. Pretty good. Uh, now, I think to solidify the dad a little bit, maybe you go with three more shots with each club here, and then we can really break all this down. Let's do it. Thomas, that was 18 swings. Uh, 
it's quite the workout, I, it looks like. Uh, I'm Just qu a quick look at the map here. It's kind of, okay, so with maybe one outlier, so to speak, taken out of each one, you can see how these circles, I can see trends sort of emerging here, Thomas. But um, So you've hit, you got all 18 shots, I guess 15 of them now accounted for. Um, let's break this down here. Yeah, so I was swinging about 113 miles an hour with, with mm -hmm. each club. Um, so it's interesting, Sim 2, a little bit more club speed, but a little more ball speed. So if you look at the efficiency, the smash factor, the Sim 2 and the Sim were tied for first at 149. Mm -hmm. Notice the M5 was just a little bit behind there on ball speed. Um, but it's kind of interesting, they're all launching kind of around about 16 degrees for, mm -hmm. for, the, for the most part. Nine degree driver head, it's a lot to do with my attack angle because yeah. I hit up on the ball a lot. So as I've been working on increasing my club speed over the winter time, I'm going to have to modify the loft yeah. on the driver, that's for sure. Um, but let's take a look at other numbers. So we kept the settings the same with each one. Kind of interesting, spin. So if we look at the spin rate, what kind of stands out is that the M5 was like 2300. It was flying a little bit straighter, maybe a little bit more draw bias, mm -hmm. probably why the spin rate stayed down with that model there. But you'll notice the Sim 2, about 2000 RPMs. So high launch, low spin, no, no question it definitely went the furthest. Yeah. It was hot. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You had, you were smoking it. I think every single one, I believe, for the Sim 2 carried over 300 yards. Yes. yes. Every one had 300 yards of carry on it with the Sim 2. So that's, and we should note here, what do you have with the Sim? You had one at 300 yards. With the M5, you had one at 300 yards. So yep. there's a difference there. And I know you did swing the Sim 2 maybe a little bit fast, I mean, fractionally faster. Um, I'm not sure that's the only difference there, but I mean, clearly it's, the spin is what's doing that for you. Yeah, it's definitely not enough distance to say, you know, we're talking that I was hitting the ball 13, 14 yards further mm -hmm. than the Sim, and then about, you know, 13 yards further than the, than the M5. Half a mile an hour club speed, that's not going to make the difference. Yeah. So clearly it's hot. I mm -hmm. mean, clearly it's hot. But also clearly what I've kind of noticed, and a lot of tailor-made testing that I've done, is a little bit more fade bias. Mm -hmm. So we noticed with the Sim and the Sim 2, kind of pushed over there to the, to the right side a little bit. So it's low spinning, but it's also got a little bit kind of a, a fade bias to it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've noticed that as well. Just a little bit of kind of, at least for you, because I know you kind of, you like to hit more of a draw. And it's, um, so I, and you, it seems like the fade comes into play more with the tailor-made drivers and testing we've done. And certainly you saw that with the Sim 2. I think even the one, you know, these are all, I mean, clearly these are kind of a ways out here. Then the sort of, the, there was maybe one outlier it seemed like the outliers were more left than right, right? The, the trend was right, so yep. interesting there. But um, I mean, the Sim 2 was clearly the hottest and lowest spinning of the three here. So I guess in that sense, the technology has improved clearly over the years here. Yeah, I think the solution coming up with here is, you know, if you swing fast, you want to fit into a lower spinning club head. But also if you maybe hook the ball a little bit, mm -hmm. this club might help you out with kind of fade bias there too. You also have adjustable options as well. So Mm -hmm. For me, I probably wouldn't want to do that, even though I do need this loft on the club head. If I was going to turn the loft down on this, it's going to be four degrees more open if I put it down minus two. So I'd probably hit it a little further right. I'd have to yeah. make a correction in my swing um, to do that. But you've got options with regards to adjustability with regards to the hollow settings. Mm -hmm. With Sim 2, you no longer have that sliding track. So keep that in mind there as well. So with the M5, you had the sliding T track essentially. Yeah. With the Sim, you had the one kind of track there. And now Sim 2, mm -hmm. it's, gone. it's well, gone. It's interesting to think about if you know, maybe that improvement you know, has allowed them to optimize the spin numbers, things like that, um, with kind of less weight moving around on the bottom. But interesting that maybe that's just a theory. I don't, I don't have any proof necessarily besides this test here. So Yeah, it is TaylorMade's theory that if you're going to move the weight from the back forward, it's going to spin a little less. So because I don't have that sliding track anymore, mm -hmm they can then reposition position that weight to a different mm -hmm. spot. And most golfers, let's face it, you know, they're either going to fit into a couple of different categories. Right? They're either a fader of the golf ball, or they fit into more draw bias golf club, or they usually hit the ball fairly straight, and they don't really play around with those mm -hmm. sliding weights too much there too. Sure. So losing it on the Sim 2 is not a bad, not, not a bad problem as, at all, as you can see with regards to spin and distance. Right, exactly. Well, that's three tailor-made drivers, M5, Sim, and Sim 2, all kind of the lower spinning uh, but of course, they're all great performers, as Thomas has displayed for you today. So if you're interested in one of these drivers, of course, stop into one of our five stores, uh, check in with one of our experts, either again in the store or online with our online fitting and support team, and they'll get you set up for a new tailor-made driver. Uh, 
Uh, again, low spin, high launch, right down the fairway for you. Uh, better drives and ultimately lower scores. So, Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots and breaking everything down today. Not a problem.